Which fashion icons, former Disney kids, and Marvel stars have been associated with the controversial Hillsong Church? And why won't other celebs talk about it? Keep watching to find out. Justin Bieber once had a super public friendship with Hillsong pastor Carl Lentz. According to GQ, Bieber lived with Lentz for a month and a half as he got his life together after a period of extremely negative publicity, and Lentz helped Bieber get baptized. Justin shared a snap of himself and his pastor on Instagram, captioning the selfie, This is my dog till the day I die. He's the biggest bro dog, ride or die, till the wheels fall off. Hillsong was even reportedly behind Bieber's decision to cancel some dates on his Purpose World Tour, according to sources who told Us Weekly. Members of the Hillsong Church said he didn't have to go and that God will protect him. However, TMZ reported in 2018 that the two had experienced a falling out. They reached out to Carl Lentz for comment on Bieber's engagement to model Haley Baldwin and were told that he would not be commenting on his former friend. According to a Hillsong statement obtained by People, Lentz was fired from Hillsong in 2020 following moral failures, which seems to have been code for an extramarital affair. It seems that Bieber followed him out the door soon after. He announced on Instagram stories in early 2021 that he was no longer a part of Lentz's former congregation, writing, BTW, Hillsong is not my church. Haley Bieber, formerly Baldwin, is a model. And just like her pop star husband Justin, she was a devoted attendee of Hillsong. Haley told Elle that she first found the church at age 16 while living in New York City, and that it appealed to her because it wasn't like other churches, which she said tended to be boring. Hillsong, on the other hand, was exciting and appealed to young people, saying, It started to feel like my own little community of people who were also young and following God, and just immersed in a church community. Then I developed my own relationship to church and my own relationship with God, separate from being raised that way by my parents. That's been a cool journey for me. In 2020, Justin shared photos on Instagram depicting a joint baptism performed by church home pastor Judah Smith, even though Justin was previously already baptized into Hillsong. Alongside photos showing the Vogue cover model submerged in water, Justin wrote, The moment Haley Bieber, my wife and I, got baptized together. This was one of the most special moments of my life, confessing our love and trust in Jesus publicly with our friends and family. Like many other Hillsong celebs, Haley also appeared on the Hillsong channel several times, discussing topics ranging from married life and shame to finding her purpose. Her husband no longer attends Hillsong as of 2021, so it's safe to assume Haley has left as well. Ahead of the release of The Lego Movie 2, Chris Pratt appeared on The Late Show with Stephen Colbert and mentioned completing a 21-day fast patterned after the biblical figure of Daniel. The Book of Daniel? The Book of Daniel. The Prophet? The Prophet Daniel, Daniel from the Book of, yeah, from the Old Testament, the Book of Daniel. Pratt's outspoken faith wasn't a total surprise, considering he once spent an Easter Sunday with a giant cross. But this time, the Umbrella Academy star Elliot Page called out Pratt's ties to Hillsong. In a viral tweet, he wrote, Okay, um, but his church is infamously anti-LGBTQ, so maybe address that too? After much discussion online, Pratt responded to the accusation, saying in a wordy Instagram story, nothing could be further from the truth. He noted that the church had been helpful to him during his divorce from ex-wife Anna Ferris, even though divorce is frowned upon, and he tried to say that the church is accepting of all people. However, Hillsong's own disgraced founder, Brian Houston, admitted to excluding LGBTQ identifying people from holding leadership positions. In a blog post entitled, Do I Love Gay People?, Houston wrote, Hillsong Church welcomes all people, but does not affirm all lifestyles. Put clearly, we do not affirm a gay lifestyle, and because of this, we do not knowingly have actively gay people in positions of leadership, either paid or unpaid. Pratt's membership at Hillsong has continued to follow him. Because of his association, he went viral in 2020 as the worst Chris, prompting defenses from many of his Avengers co-stars. Chris Pratt is one of Hillsong's best-known attendees, and his current wife, Katherine Schwarzenegger Pratt, seems to have joined him. Though her action star husband told Extra that the two met in church, it's unclear exactly which church he was referring to. But now that the two are married, Katherine has increased her involvement in Hillsong along with Chris. The two have been spotted leaving Zoe Church, a Hillsong sister church, by paparazzi. Plus, in 2020, she appeared on the Hillsong channel on YouTube to promote her book, The Gift of Forgiveness inspiring stories from those who have overcome the unforgivable.
Schwarzenegger Pratt did, however, note that her book relayed stories from different people of all ages, from all backgrounds, all walks of life, all faiths. Selena Gomez and Justin Bieber's on-again, off-again relationship throughout their early careers was the stuff of pop culture legend. One tidbit about the status of their relationship came in 2017 from People, as sources claimed the couple was seeking counseling from Hillsong pastor Carl Lentz. The magazine reported, They don't want to repeat the same patterns as before. They've clearly had issues in the past, so they're receiving some guidance from Carl. By 2019, however, a lot had changed. Jelena was done for good, because Justin married Haley Baldwin. Bieber and Lentz were no longer speaking to one another. Lentz himself was embroiled in scandal, and it seems Selena had enough. Sources told the Daily Telegraph that Gomez doesn't want anything to do with Hillsong anymore. Gomez opened up about her views on spirituality to Vogue in 2021. She clarified, I'm very, very spiritual. I believe in God, but I'm not religious. I've been a Christian for a while now. I don't talk about it too much. I just want to make it clear that I love being able to have my faith and believe in what I believe in, and that truly is what gets me through. Vanessa Hudgens grew up Catholic, but she told the New York Times she didn't feel particularly connected to religion until she and her then-boyfriend, actor Austin Butler, found Hillsong. They attended the New York City branch of the Pentecostal Church, since Hudgens was starring in a Broadway production of Gigi, and she found herself won over by Hillsong's flashy concerts. She told the newspaper, it feels like arcade fire. It's epic like that. However, it wasn't just the megachurch's theatrics that drew her back to religion after years spent mean and fed up with fame, as she described herself. Instead, she clarified she liked Hillsong's approach to spirituality, saying, They really focus on you having your own personal relationship with Jesus, which is wonderful. Hutchins doesn't appear to have spoken publicly about Hillsong since that 2015 interview, and she and Butler broke up after almost a decade together. It's unclear whether she's still a member. Hillsong has gone through numerous scandals and public relations disasters since those early days, so it may make sense for Hudgens to distance herself from the church she once loved. Austin Butler, the star of the hit Elvis biopic, was once a devoted attendee of Hillsong Church, and he appears to have been a close personal friend of former pastor Carl Lentz. Though Butler doesn't seem to have spoken about his relationship to the church publicly, various photos across social media tell the story of his involvement with the much-hyped religious institution. Years before Vanessa Hudgens opened up about her personal relationship with Jesus, a fan shared a selfie alongside her in Austin at what they said was a Hillsong conference. Lentz himself posted a picture with his wife Lara alongside them in a car. In the caption, he wrote, Today is a fantastic day to thank God for what you do have and be mindful of people immersed in various trials. It also seems that, as much as Butler may have been a fan of Lentz's church, Lentz was also a fan of the star's acting ability. In the caption of a 2013 photo with Butler, Lentz wrote that Butler was James Dean 2.0. Like his ex-girlfriend Vanessa, Austin has not publicly disavowed Lentz after the cheating scandal that saw him resign from Hillsong. Like many other celebs who have attended services at Hillsong Church, it's difficult to know the current status of Hawkeye star Haley Steinfeld's relationship with the controversial House of Worship. Steinfeld doesn't discuss her personal life much, but back in 2017, she was rumored to be dating a certain infamous member of the congregation, Justin Bieber. TMZ initially reported on the relationship, noting that Bieber had broken up with Haley Baldwin. In the meantime, sources told them that he had been introduced to Haley Steinfeld through Carl Lentz. Steinfeld's reps denied the crux of the article, insisting she and Bieber were only friends. They did not deny that Steinfeld was a Hillsong attendee. However, in an unusual move, TMZ did not redact the piece, instead doubling down on the insistence that this was an actual relationship and not just a friendship. Well, that was a bit of a letdown. During the height of Hillsong in the mid-2010s, Many celebs stopped by the church to check out why so many of their peers had felt the calling. One such star was Lil Wayne, who appeared in a photo with Justin Bieber and Hillsong pastor Carl Lentz. Anticipating that the musicians would face backlash for linking up with him, Carl wrote on Instagram, Because these individuals are well-known, immediately it will elicit reactions. Mostly harsh, because it's easier slash lazy to classify that which you can't fully understand than to pursue depth and reasoning. Bieber shared the photo as well choosing a different sentiment to convey. He wrote, Not about what you do, but who you do it with. Love these guys. Wheezy may or may not have been a devoted Hillsong attendee, 
But shortly after posing for the pic, the rapper released a memoir called Gone Till November, a collection of writing he'd done in his journal while incarcerated. He wrote that he received a letter from a church that urged him to consider rapping for the Lord, and he says that for a time, he did consider what his life might be like if he became a Christian rapper instead of continuing down the path that led him to prison. He mused, I would truly have the power of pop culture turning to God. I would have straight killers in church every Sunday. Ultimately, he decided against it. Hillsong Church is controversial for numerous reasons, which is why so many celebrity attendees tend to be pretty quiet about their attendance. Still, that didn't stop several members of the Kardashian-Jenner family from going or from posting about their experiences online. Back in 2014, pre-Justin Hailey Bieber shared a selfie on Instagram. Posing alongside Kendall and Kylie Jenner, Hillsong pastor Carl Lentz and his wife Lara. Kendall was photographed attending a midweek Hillsong service alongside Kourtney Kardashian and Kanye West, who The Mirror noted may have been inspired by Hillsong's music-centric approach to worship in starting his own Sunday Services concert series. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more Nicki Swift videos about your favorite celebs are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.